and singing and snuggling. Snow days in cocoa and warm gloves and jackets. Warm cozy sheets when I get into bed. These are a few of my favorite things. Good morning, Wesley families. How are you today? Are you all dug out from all of that wonderful snow? I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did, as we did here at the Catino House. <laughs> so today, um, we are going to talk all about peace. Things that bring us inner peace, ways we can bring others peace, and ways that God brings us peace. Now is the time for the children to come forward and get all comfy cozy. <laughs> I hope you guys got to go play in the snow yesterday. Did you have fun? And did you have a good week? I hope so. I bet you're getting excited for next week. <laughs> All right. So guys, this week we had the extraordinary pleasure of watching one of my favorite Christmas movies. Actually, my husband's very favorite. <laughs> the Muppet Christmas Carol, right? So fun. So wonderful to see these Muppets represent the, a Christmas Carol, right? A very, very wonderful story about peace in the end. So throughout this story, um, we get to know Ebenezer Scrooge, right? Um, and he doesn't seem to have much that brings him inner peace, except feeling like he has a lot of money and riches and everything he could ever want in the world. But he doesn't have much other inner peace, right? Those things I just sang about in the beginning, they bring me great inner peace. Whenever I experience any of those things or do any of those things, they bring me a sense of <sighs> calm and content. Cooking and baking and singing and snuggling, warm sheets, gloves, jackets, all that bring me <sighs> a sense of calm and peace, that inner peace. When we meet Ebenezer Scrooge, he doesn't have much of that, right? But throughout the movie, as he meets each of those ghosts, the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future, we see, almost like the Grinch, we see his heart warm up and grow throughout the movie, right? And he begins to learn through several of his friends and family um, that what really brings us peace is being a good person, um, doing good things for others, doing good, kind deeds, and being helpful and kind, he finds out that those are the true things that bring peace. And that's what this season is all about. Well, we've been talking a lot about how it's not about the gifts that we receive. Most of the time, it's about the gifts we give, right? And how good it makes us feel. Giving gifts, for me, is another one of those things that... <sighs> brings a sense of inner calm and peace, right? But again, it's not always about just what brings you inner peace, but next we want to think of how we can bring others peace by, you know, for example, in The Muppet Christmas Carol, um, Ebenezer Scrooge doesn't want to donate to charity. He doesn't want to do anything good. He doesn't want to give his workers Christmas Day off okay, to go be with his, their families, right? He doesn't want to do any of those good things. But as he meets each of those ghosts, he realizes, oh my gosh, look how happy these people are that I don't treat so well. And look at what they do. They're giving to charities. They're helping each other. They're being kind, maybe even when someone's not being so kind to them, right? And another big type of peace that I wanted to focus on with you this week is the type of peace that God brings to our lives, right? When we live through God, when we let God into our lives, like you guys are doing through Sunday school and growing up in Sunday school, there is such an inner peace that God can bring, right? <clears throat> we know he answers all of our prayers, all of our needs, comforts us when we are sad or hurt, um, he gives us everything we need, right? But Scrooge also learns, particularly through the ghost of Christmas future, um, that your story is never 
fully written. You can always change. For example, Scrooge changed from a grumpy mean man who never learned, he really never learned how to care and give to others and how good that makes us feel, okay? But toward the end, when he sees that he passes away with nobody caring about him, all right? Nobody really caring about him and nobody really remembering him, even though he had all of the things and riches he could ever want, it didn't make a difference, right? But he learned that he could change the course of his life. He could change his ways. He could be giving and kind to others. And he learned what a sense of peace that would bring to his life. So what does he do when he wakes up from this night of being visited by the ghosts? Right. Remember, he starts, he gives to charities the the most anyone could ever dream of. <laughs> he gives to charity. He he tells the young boy, is that biggest prize goose still in the window? Go get that for the family, right? Go buy that for the family. Let them have a feast. Hello to everyone on the street, right? He spreads that kindness and you see, at least I feel when I watch it, you like see him melt with all that that anger going away because he's doing good for others, right? So God shows us that we can always be forgiven and change our choices and make good choices, right? Um, and I think that is a wonderful way that the Muppet Christmas Carol demonstrates peace. And I also want to talk how God can bring us peace, right? So God can bring us peace through, like I said earlier, providing everything we need, comforting us when we are hurt. But guess what? There are some really simple ways that God gives us peace that we may not even recognize. How about thinking about that snowfall the other day? Did you just sit and stare for a bit and just completely get lost in watching it? Maybe, hopefully, like drinking some hot cocoa or cozying up or something. And did you just feel that <sighs> there's nothing better than watching a snowfall. That's a simple gift from God that grants us peace as well. Something as simple as a snowfall, all right? And enjoying playing in the snow and throwing those snowballs, right? <laughs> Not at each other, of course. <laughs> all right, so I hope all of you are experiencing the wonderful peace of the season. Um. And the last thing that I would like to share with you today is our final verse of this little light of mine. All right. So this one is going to be, um, let it shine all over the world. Okay. So this verse goes like this. Let it shine all over, we kind of cup our hand around, all over the world is two W's, wrap the top one around, world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Great. So that's our last verse, our final verse. Now, let's see if we can put it all together. Our first verse was, This little light of mine. Okay. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And then the next one was, won't, so, won't let Satan blow it out. Okay, I'm going to let it shine. And the one that we did last week, hide it under a bushel. No! I'm gonna let it shine. 
And then our final one for today was let it shine all over the world. Okay, let's put it all together. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Ready and this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And then we had won't, won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan blow it out. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all over the world. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Great job, guys. Okay, let's close with a prayer. This one is super special. We don't want to miss that, right? Okay, bring our hands together. Repeat after me. Dear God, we choose to live in hope, in love, in joy, in peace. God bless us, everyone. And all God's children say, Amen. Merry Christmas.